we are conditioning ourselves for the next asan class stand in sthita prarthana asan stand tall smile broad both the palms are at the center of the chest elbows relax chin parallel to the ground close your eyes watch your breath feel the air coming in going out we start with the prayer <coughs> hum apne man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai isi mein hi hamara atma vikas samaya hai हम अपने मन को हमेशा संतुलित रखना है इस में ही हमारा आत्म विकास समाया है आत्म विकास समाया है आत्म विकास समाया है हरिओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी नमस्ते सुप्रभात गुड मॉर्निंग सुप्रभात हाउ आर यू ठीक है गुड ठीक है गुड सो वी स्टार्ट विद द शोल्डर रोटेशंस slowly start moving shoulders <clears throat> other way around chain and relax take the hands in front both the palms okay up then put them down up down up down rotate clockwise other way round and relax okay now squeeze your palms squeeze them hard and slowly open them and stretch them wide good relax again squeeze it release and relax now lock the fingers stretch your arms in front turn them out turn them back down release keep your palms together in front cross the wrist yes not this much then turn the palms lock the fingers and move inside one more round no same just just do one more round and now watch carefully what you are doing just take the hands in front those who are confused ha huh? cross the wrist turn the palms in lock the fingers 
done. And and change. Good. Lock the fingers. Move. And in. Out. And relax. Take the hands down. Hands by side. Slowly take the hand at shoulder level. Palms down. Palms up. Palms down. Up. Down. Up. Rotate clockwise. Other way around. And relax. Start flying. Go higher. Good. And relax. Hands on your hip. Move your hips. Other way around. Good. And relax. Okay. Feet together. Hold the knees. Put your palms on your knees. Rotate. <coughs> Other side and relax. Ready? So we have finished with the warming up stretching exercises. Now we'll start with the Ek Padasan series. Okay? Slowly take your leg up, place it on your opposite thigh. Put your palms in Namaste. If you are comfortable, slowly take your arms up. Feel the stretch. If you are comfortable, slowly go to your side. The same side, the leg is up. <clears throat> Come back. And chain, other side. Throughout the practice, your eyes are focused, breathe normal. Feel the stretch and slowly tilt, if you are comfortable, otherwise stay there. Back. And relax. Okay. The next variation is Ushtrasan. Slowly lift your leg up. Place it on your opposite thigh. Slowly. Once the leg is locked, slowly take your arms up. And stay there. Change. Perfect. Breathe normal throughout the practice. Don't hold your breath. Release. And relax. Natarajasan. Slowly lift your leg. Fold it. Hold your ankle. Arm up and slowly push your leg away from the body. Release. Other side. Those are not comfortable standing. If you find it difficult, we do the Ardha Dhanurasana, lying down. So it's a similar and release. So Ardha Dhanurasana we do, you have the, you know, hips are on the floor, leg is so you're more comfortable. 
One more round, see this from the nose. Face that side. Slowly lift your leg, fold it, arm up, and slowly push your leg away from the body. Nataraj, Lord Shiva. Change. Every day, if you start practicing your Ekpadasan series, your concentration improves, the coordination, and you become more focused. Ekagra, one pointedness, release. Virasan standing, face sideways. Slowly take your arms up. Start bending forward. Simultaneously, the leg come up. Excellent. Point your toe out once your upper body is parallel to the ground. Release. Other side. Stretch your arms. Slowly start bending forward. Point your toe out once your upper body is parallel to the ground. Back. Now place your palms on your hip. The second variation is for the alignment of the hip in Virasana, standing. Slowly start bending forward, chin up. Now the full focus is on the alignment of the hip, both hips should be aligned. Slowly. Release. Other side. Slowly start bending forward. Make sure both the hips are aligned. Then point your toe out. Feel the straight chin up. Release. And relax. Pavan Muktasan. <clears throat> Slowly lift your leg. Squeeze it hard, keep your back straight. Hallo. Slowly. Dire se. <laughs> Christina is learning Hindi slowly, slowly. Release. She is interested in working in Bollywood. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Release. Side variation. The Bhavan Muktasan. She don't know the pain behind that, all these things, you know, shooting and everything. So she's comfortable. She's saying that what is going on at a standing at the one place and you do asana. No, it's different when you start shooting for the films. Release. Yeah, our director is happy with us, so it goes very smoothly. But when you start shooting for the films, you'll come to know what is it. <coughs> Release. Garudasan. Excellent. Change. Other side. Release. 
face that side let them see from the sideways <clears throat> so this what we are practicing right now because of the lockdown but once it gets over we really need this kind of practice to face the situation after the lockdown so get ready get hold of all these things which you are practicing really especially ek padasan series at the side first few months after lockdown will be very tough but those who are practicing you will now you can face it you can take that very easily if you are ready with this <clears throat> back okay face that side natwarasan basuri yes excellent this is a very 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 effective asan okay natwarasan it is also variation of ek padasan because you are not touching the toe which is crossed change basuri sham ki basuri 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 sham ki change one more round oh my lord be with me oh my lord set me free oh my lord change oh my lord be with me oh my lord set me free good 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 release thank you okay shala so <laughs> we'll start with a talasan 2 as nice stretch one foot distance we are not going on the toes just take your arms up and just feel this stretch both the palm facing each other fingers together thumb and chin up focus 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 on the stretch release <clears throat> one more round feel the stretch release one more round last round say i remember the class dr sir was telling us about the uh, pancha mahabhutas and our body so he said uh, we start with the earth element and you breathe normal okay because that's a very important part what i am telling you earth we have lot of earth in our body that is flesh and bones then come water 70% fluid then come fire okay it should be more here in the abdomen jatharagni but it is more on the head then comes air prana okay so ample all the four mahabhutas okay earth water fire and air we have ample the less we have is the ether space take your hands down so the space is between the joints okay the space between the vertebrae so if you really want to stay young and healthy use that space we always say na i want my space i want my space but it is space outside what the space within and we don't use and that's why when we start getting older what we do we cumble because we are not using the space last round use the space take the hands up feel the stretch each and each and every joint feel it with every breath stretch 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 get along with that space ether akash your hands are up to akash it's a ether just feel it feel it feel it and turn your palms and slowly take them down comfortable yes okay utkatasan squatting pose first no first we'll face that side then we'll so sideways and then third variation okay so ready inhaling come on your toes hands at shoulder and hold squat 
those who can't go all the way down you can do half squat you can take the support of the chair you can hold a chair or bar or anything support and come back yes now it really strengthens the quadriceps and abdomen hands down and relax now face that side now see the back the position of back is very important to make the utkatasan more effective so slowly take your arms up hands at shoulder hold exhale squat down that's excellent posture when you keep the back straight the full pressure is coming that is you're using your core and thigh slowly now when you're lifting you're coming against gravity so you should feel the pressure on the hip thighs core and hands down perfect now face that side the second variation with the toes apart good <clears throat> slowly take the hand at shoulder slowly go down squat come back and slowly take your hands and heels to get it down the next variation we do with the namaste the same thing yes how you know the do you know the bharatanatyam it's a traditional indian classical dance so that's a prayer pose that is a guru vandana wins it only thing they keep the heels together so you just if you are comfortable yeah then come on your toes and slowly go down excellent then you slowly just bow down to the guru put the palms on the floor that's it come back and slowly come up excellent christina good and relax okay relax <coughs> now we'll go for konasan 2 take a comfortable distance 2 to 1/2 feet okay stand tall chin up slowly take your right hand up stretch your arm and slowly go to your side now the focus on the hand stretch is very important excellent if you want to make the asan effective take the hand behind your ear feel the stretch chin up breathe normal slowly come back hand down left hand up keep the head in the center stretch your arm slowly go to your side now focus on the alignment normally the tendency of the body will lean forward that's better excellent so focus on the alignment of the body use your core slowly come back and hand down second round first we go into the position and then we slowly lift the hand which is down okay slowly right hand up stretch your arm inhaling slowly go down once you are in the final position of the asan slowly lift the hand which is down excellent the hand which is down should be stretched out breathe normal drop the hand which is down slowly come up other side left hand keep the head in the center stretch and slowly go down perfect the correction self correction is very important to improve your sadhana so for that you should be aware of your body okay hand down and slowly come back and okay that self correction that's why so many studios we have the mirrors around just to correct the final position like how you put your fingers especially uh, like the studios which are used for the dance 
because the final movement is you know fitness is very important when you perform it so i always i prefer it's a performance what you're doing you're practicing asan perform it and see the difference one more round yeah. now sorry we'll do perform the asan which at i like it is my favorite konasan 3 in this you really perform the asan okay both the palm facing up with hands parallel to each other eyes focus slowly take your arms out look at your right palm slowly take it to your left toe once you touch it feel the weight on the toe look up at your left palm breathe normal don't hold your breath look down at your right palm inhaling come up all the way turn your head look at your left palm take it to your right toe touch just feel the weight look up at your right palm look down at your left palm slowly come back look in front turn your palms down three counts of exhalation hands down and relax good so here you relax once your asan is finished till you are in asan your eyes are focused you are standing tall second variation of konasan 3 hands in front palm facing up with hands parallel only hands are going out look at your right palm <clears throat> take it to your left toe touch your toe feel the weight on the toe and take the head in the center of the body and look up at your left palm look down at your right palm keep looking at right palm come up all the way once both the hand in straight line look at your left palm take it to your right toe throughout the practice your palms and eyes are moving together feel the weight on the toe take the head in the center of the body look up at your right palm look down slowly come back look in front and three counts of exhalation hands down and relax third variation <clears throat> third variation both the hands in front palm facing upward ready only hands are going out turn your head look at your right palm take it to your left toe touch your toe Keep touching your toe. Feel the weight on the toe. Take the head in the center of the body, and if your body allows you, slowly lower your elbow down, and then turn your head and look up at your left palm. Breathe normal. Stay there. Feel it. Breathe. Good. Check yourself again. When you hold it for longer, again your hip goes a little bit back. Again, bring them in the center. Look down at the right palm. Come back very slowly. good left right touch the toe keep touching your toe take the head in the center of the body lower your body down and then feel the weight on the toe without lifting your heels off the ground breathe normal slowly come back <clears throat> look in front and slowly take your hands down and relax okay relax so next series we are going for the veer bhadrasan catch your breath breathe normal <clears throat> ready so important part of veer bhadrasan it is the distance between your feet okay so it's the length of your leg okay So when you're taking distance for the so it's the length of your leg weight is equally on both the toes you're using your core when you do virbhadrasan and each and every part of the body is working in virbhadrasan virbhadrasana it's a warrior pose we are ready to face everything in front of us especially in this lockdown situation we are getting depressed we are getting anxious just go into this and see the difference all my warriors get ready take a comfortable distance and do with the force rather than force uh, we bhava it is a veeraras 
वी हैव नाइन रसर दोज वू प्रैक्टिस इंडियन ट्रेडिशनल डांस ऑफ ड्रामा ओके थिएटर दे नो द रस नो रस है सो वन ऑफ दैट इज वीर रस ओके टेक अ कम्फर्टेबल डिस्टेंस टू टू एंड हाफ आवर लेंथ ऑफ योर लेग रडे नाउ स्लोली टेक द हैंड दैट शोल्डर राइट टू आउट राइट नी डाउन एंड लुक ऑर योर राइट पाम नाउ मेक श्योर योर नी विल नॉट गो बियॉन्ड योर हिल सो स्ट्रेच द लेग विच इज इन फ्रंट विच इज बैक excellent this first we get the hold of the asan then we go for the correction so this is the veera bhadrasan weight is equally on both the toes you are stretching your arms out and slowly knee straight toe in toe out left toe out toe in left toe out left knee down and stretch so this is the warrior pose take the hand little bit here center this this that's that's perfect okay don't lean forward upper body that's better come little bit right back that's it so upper body exactly in the center weight is equally on both the toes knee straight toe in and slowly take the hands down virbhadrasan very very powerful pesh posha especially uh we get feedbacks from the student who leave the institute and they go back to the countries like in russia or europe where the winter is very severe this series of asan virbhadra asan and the sec- next is siha garjana asan roaring lion they keep calling us and they say these two asanas are really working in the condition where the winter is really severe so because there is no sun okay we don't get that sunlight and we start getting depressed like now in lockdown everyone you know they are you're just locked down inside to practice get ready when you go back you have to fight with the all the situation one more round for virbhadrasan take a comfortable distance to to and a half foot or length of your leg stand tall right to out right knee down look at your right palm and feel the stretch weight is equally on both the toes use your core focus on the left hip knee up toe in head in the center toe out knee down and stretch now focus on the right hip align it feel the stretch knee up toe in look in front and take the hands down one more round last round <clears throat> we stay there for 10 counts each side breathe normal ready two to and half foot distance or comfortable distance right toe out <clears throat> right knee down look at your right palm stay there breathe normal we are staying there for 10 counts om one om two om three om four om five om six om seven Om Ay Om Na Om Ten Knee straight <coughs> toe in left to out left knee down focus on the right hip okay stay there for 10 counts breathe normal if you want you can count with me ready om om 2 om 3 om 4 om 5 om 6 Om Seva Om E Om Na Om 
Captain and come back. Relax. <coughs> move your shoulders. Just move your toes. Come on your toes. Move your back. Okay. Just loosen up your leg. So the base, the main asan, Virbhadra asan is this. Now we add the variation in this. Okay. <coughs> so again, comfortable distance. Hands at shoulder. Right to out. Right knee down. Right hand on the back. Left hand with your head. And stretch your arm and go sideways. Excellent. Now make sure your knee and heel is aligned. Focus on the alignment of the hip. Chin up. Stretch your arm. That's excellent. This angle is very important of this variation. Weight is equally on both the toes. Then slowly take the left hand down. Take the right hand at shoulder. And come back. Toe in, toe out. Left knee down. Left hand on the back. Right hand up with your head. Stretch your arm. Excellent. Now focus on the alignment. So use your core. That's perfect. Superb. Take the right hand at shoulder. Then left hand at shoulder. Slowly come back in the center. And toe in. Relax. One more round. We repeat the same thing. Ready? <clears throat> Hands at shoulder. Right toe out, right knee down, right hand on the back, left hand up in the air, stretch your arm and feel the stretch. Breathe normal. Take the left hand at the shoulder, right hand at the shoulder, slowly come back in the center, toe in, toe out. Left knee down, left hand on the back, right hand up with the head, stretch your arm, correct yourself, alignment of the hip, excellent, chin up. Take the right hand on the shoulder, right hand, left hand at the shoulder, come back to the center, toe in, and hands down. Good. Virbhadrasan, very powerful posture. One more round. So how to make this variation intense? We take the both the hand up sideways, okay? Hands at shoulder. Right hand out, sorry, right toe out. Right knee down. Okay. Left hand on the back. No, left hand up, right hand on the back. Go down. <clears throat> now take the right hand up. Perfect. Bring both the hands parallel to each other. Feel the stretch. Focus on the alignment of the hip. That's excellent, Christina. Good. Then slowly take the right hand on the back or shoulder, left hand at shoulder. Come back to the center. Toe in, toe out. Okay. Slowly go down. Stretch, stretch and very slowly take the hand which is down up both the hands should be parallel focus on the alignment of the hip excellent take the right hand at the shoulder left hand at the shoulder left right hand come back and down and relax <clears throat> okay now we'll do the twist in a virabhadrasana Hands at shoulder, right toe out, right knee down, twist your right, excellent. Now with the left palm hold your right knee, yes, right hand on the back and twist. Perfect, keep twisting. Now 
then take hands both the hand shoulder come back perfect toe in toe out knee down twist your left with your right palm hold your left knee left hand on the back and twist <clears throat> comfortable yes. okay hands at shoulder and come back pet me kauve daud rahe kauve kau pet me nahi na nahi 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 because she asked me before we start the how i say that i am hungry so i told her that pet me kauve chilla rahe ya to chuve so this i just wanted to confirm thoda thoda okay so <laughs> okay Now we'll do the same variation. Just watch because for that uh, you face this side, so they will come to know the exact position from the side. Okay, face this side, face me. Okay, Veer Bhadrasan and the Namaskar variation. Okay, so take a comfortable distance, right toe out, hand at shoulder, right knee down. Yes, twist your right, then put your palms in Namaste, and. left elbow will go on your right knee excellent that's perfect okay so this is a variation in vakrasan in virbhadrasan then perfect kristina good then release your palms take hand at shoulder come back to the center knee straight toe in toe out knee down twist to your left put your palms in namaste right elbow will go on your left knee excellent squeeze it good perfect release your hands take them at shoulder slowly come back and uh, no face that side okay so because this was you know very the perfect position so that's why she was you know facing me now the last variation in virabhadrasana again it's a twist but in a little bit different take a distance <coughs> okay hands at shoulder toe out right toe right knee down right palm right shoulder right palm right shoulder shoulder goes to the knee good now put the right hand in drop the left hand on the back and take the lock the fingers Yes. And asan starts here once you get the hold of your fingers. Yeah, come back to the center and keep twisting back. Now you get it. Release and go back. Center and to in, to out. Hands at shoulder, knee down, left palm left shoulder left knee left shoulder left knee lock the fingers and twist now come up in the center and keep twisting back excellent release and come back and sit breathe normal comfortable catch your breath so we'll go for a parvatasan so sit in padmasan sukhasan whichever is comfortable asan the base is very important parvatasan the broad base okay it's a strength and the way you go up when the hands together it's a excellence okay slowly take your arms up put your palms together without locking your thumbs keep stretching feel the stretch slowly turn your palms and take them down good only right hand up take the right hand up 
If you want, you can keep the hand on your abdomen or thigh. Good. Stretch your arm and very slowly go to your side. <clears throat> Chin up. Back. And hand down. Left hand. Stretch. Slowly go to your side. Chin up. Excellent. Feel the stretch. That is again important that angle. Chin up and use your core. Don't drop your body in front. Come back. Hand down. Relax. Now take your hands behind your head, both the palms. Okay. Take a deep breath and exhaling, bend forward. Hypertension, cardiac problem, pregnant lady will avoid this variation. Slowly go down, relax your body. Those who are comfortably touching the forehead, try to touch your nose on the floor. Those who can touch the nose, try to touch your chin on the floor. Those who are able to touch the chin, try to put your chest on the floor. Good. And slowly come back. <clears throat> and relax okay now twist so hold your that's it one hand on the back and twist perfect keep the back straight when you're twisting it's a very intense twist on your abdomen and vest release other side Breathe. Release. And relax. Okay. Take the legs in front. Good. Just relax your body. <clears throat> Now take your hands up here, just, just this much, okay? Move your one finger at a time. One finger of the right palm. Good. Then left palm. Good. Then both the palms, one, one finger at a time. Okay, take the hands down. Now just flex your toe out, turn them in, out, in. Now just move your toes clockwise, anti clockwise, just you know, warm up and relax. <clears throat> One more round, take the palms in front. Move your one finger at a time of right palm. One finger. Good. Okay, left palm. Okay, now both the palms, move your fingers one finger at a time. Okay. Shweta, Deepa, Maya. Everybody, you're moving. Rohan, Dhruva. Dhru, Rohan, Nilesh, Mahesh. Okay, so now drop the palms down. <laughs> now what you're going to do, move your one toe at a time. See, like how we're moving only one, one finger, move your one toe at a time. Hey, cheater, it's all moving together. Only one toe at a time. So when you take it only right, right, right toe big, then right small, only small, only small, only small, only small. Okay, now after the big toe, just the toe which is closer to the big toe. Then small. Then now isolate the middle one. So he'll either go in this party or that party. Try. Try all you. Move your one toe at a time. <laughs>
It's not happening. Okay. Again, take the palms in front. Move your fingers together, one finger at a time. Okay. Tick, 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 tick. Move your head. Move your shoulders. Everything. Ah, now, move your toe. One two at a time, one two at a time. It's not happening. Most abused and neglected part of the body are our toes. Throughout the day we are standing on them and we didn't listen to them. So now they are not listening. It is the same body, same nervous system. Everything is same, but why? So they are angry, they are on the strike. They are not cooperating with you, so pamper them. What you do? Fold the leg. Put the fingers in between your toes. And important part, you don't fold the fingers. You have to keep the fingers straight and squeeze them. When you do this, you start laughing. You have to keep the fingers straight and you have to squeeze them like this. When you do this, you start laughing. It's you're not laughing. I'm laughing. <laughs> so it really hurts. It it really hurts. Okay, it's really painful. Then try with the other other toe. Try the same thing with other toe. This is an excellent exercise when you're sitting idle just not doing anything fold a leg and start doing this this pain is hardly for two days what is it uh, today is uh, wednesday tuesday wednesday, wednesday. so till friday you will feel the pain if you keep practicing it excellent thing okay all the mothers and wives if the husband and children are not getting in the morning what you do you just put the fingers between their toes and squeeze them within second they are all everybody is up okay yeah so how you can paint your nail as well see this is the you know it's all you all the ladies you can find everything like when you're doing this and it's a free pedicure you don't have to pay for anything keep practicing till you are tired but it's a really really effective exercise we have the pressure point of the body part situated at the base of the toes and base of the fingers so when we do this we are stimulating and activating those pressure points so it's a very 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 effective exercise to you know charge your body and mind clear keep practicing this so when we make meet on friday almost if you keep practicing this for two days at least your big toe big toe will start moving yeah now it's only big toe yeah okay so at least within two days and if you keep practicing so till the lockdown by 4th May all the toes are moving individually okay so relax and sit your favorite pranayam so today I think it went fast okay yes. <laughs> sit sit so what we'll do first we'll do the uh, Brahmari and then we'll end the session with Shavasana okay so Brahmari is a Brahmari honeybee. So we do the sound of, you know, and this Brahmari is a very effective pranayam. All the vibrations when we create while practicing Brahmari, okay, it stimulates all the glands. It works on the endocrine system and it helps to maintain the balance of the hormones. Okay, so those who are having the problems with the hormonal imbalance, okay, you start practicing Brahmari, it's a very soothing but very effective pranayam to take care of all the imbalances of the imbalance of the your glands, hormones, and the vibrations which we create throughout the Brahmari, okay, it really calms down. It settles down the mind and body. Only thing, don't do it at the middle of the night, get up in the bed and please. Okay, so when you are alone. <laughs> you shouldn't have, otherwise you'll say I'm practicing Brahmari and everyone around you is up. Clear? The important rule for the Brahmari, don't put your teeth together like this. 
teeth apart lips together okay so we'll do without holding the breath so we inhale and we exhale and while exhaling we do primary okay back straight chin up sit at the center of a little bit yeah that's better okay <clears throat> so first round ready inhale start good breathe normal <clears throat> inhale start breathe normal <clears throat> one more round inhale start breathe normal Two more rounds to go. Take a deep breath and start. Excellent. Breathe normal. <clears throat> Last round take a deep breath and start <clears throat> Now the most difficult asana, Shavasana. See, Brahmar is a very effective uh, pranayam, especially uh, those who are, say those who you know, practice your like uh, singing, the professional singers, actors, so theater, drama, or the comparing, or the fear of comparer, okay, news readers. So Brahmari helps you to improve your voice quality so you'll have to do that voice exercises with the help of brahmari so you keep practicing this and it has been said that brahmari if you start practicing brahmari for longer you really feel the sweetness of the honey in your throat okay so very effective pranayam very easy to do now the most difficult asana, Shavasana. We have to practice this with the Vairagya Bhav. I am not the body. Let go, surrender. There is no tension in the body. We start with our toes. I relax my toes, <clears throat> my toes are relaxed. I relax my ankles, my ankles are relaxed. I relax my cup 
mark of the relax I relax my knees my knees I relax my tongue my ties I relax my groin my groin relax I relax my My arms are relaxed. I relax my abdomen. My abdomen is relaxed. I relax my chest My chest is Relax I relax my shoulders My shoulders are relaxed. I relax my neck. My neck is relaxed. I relax my chin My chin is relaxed I relax my lips My lips are relaxed. I relax my nose. My nose. My eyes are relaxed. I relax my forehead. My 
my forehead Relax I relax my skull My skull is Relax My whole body is Relax I am relaxed. I am relaxed. Hmm. Very slowly move your fingers. Move your toes. Bring your feet together very slowly. Turn to your side very slowly. Taking support of your hands, Sarin Sukhasan. Very slowly open your eyes. We end this session here. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Hari Om Tat Sat. Jai Gurudev.